Okay, Terminator Genesis is actually the fifth installment in the Terminator franchise. I loved the first two. They were great. The third and the fourth, eh, okay. Now at the fifth one, I gotta say, spoiler alerts galore. It's actually getting kind of off-putting, almost a little bit insulting, because they keep telling us that we should forget everything that happened in the original Terminator movies. But you know what? I don't want to forget what happened in the original Terminator movies because they're way better than this one. So now this one starts off in 2029 when the human resistance is about to put down the robots. And then, of course, they're going to send that guy, robot killer guy, back to 1984 to kill Sarah Connor. So then we go back to 1984. Now Sarah Connor, not played by Linda Hamilton anymore, played by the Khaleesi. I like Linda Hamilton better. The Khaleesi's okay. Amelia Clark is her name, actually. But she's not as good as Linda Hamilton. Linda Hamilton was a badass. We got a different guy playing Kyle Reese. We do have Arnold playing the original Cyborg, but she actually calls him Pops in this movie. Sarah Connor calls him Pops. He's like a cuddly Terminator. Who wants a cuddly Terminator? We're spending most of the time in 2017, and at one point, one character actually meets a younger version of himself. I'm like, what is this, Back to the Future? There's some pretty good special effects, a lot of great action, but the plot, even the characters themselves keep saying, I don't understand this. What are the rules of time travel? You know what? Here's the rule of time travel. It's whatever you want it to be. In this movie, it's more annoying than cool and intriguing. I think they should have just stopped after Terminator 1 and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. A great one-two punch, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. It's just okay.